Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly tarot horoscope reading for April 18th to the 24th. Uh, this is for Aquarius Sun and Rising, and if you've seen my other videos, you know I get really specific. I use astrology, obviously tarot, and my guides to lead your reading. Now, April 18th to 24th, I'm not going to talk about too many things astrologically because you, uh, well, let's say, let's just talk about two things, okay? One, there is going to be a lot of activity in your house of income, right? Because that is Jupiter's in Pisces and Venus is in Pisces, Mars is in Pisces. And then we also have that Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces, which is your second house of money. So if you are not feeling anything, you may feel some like movement and see some movement in action this week. The second thing I'm going to focus on is your fourth house, your domestic sphere. Okay. And the reason I say that is because the sun goes into Taurus today. Mercury went into Taurus last week and we have a major solar eclipse in Taurus at the end of the month. Taurus is your Taurus is your fourth house of your domestic sphere, which is home, anything related to home and family and things around the home. Um, some might be moving, yeah? Some Aquarians might be moving at the end of the month or they might hear that they have to move or, um, honestly, there's, with the Venus in your second house, that's not gonna be a problem. You'll have the money and things are gonna be good. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start your reading for April 18th to the 24th. I'm very excited to see what is going on with Aquarius. Now, I do the traditional cult across spread. If you don't see it in the screen, it's because I also do private readings. Um, and that's through Zoom on my computer. So it's a different kind of, uh, I guess, Zoom. <laughs> uh, so... I'm going to put it over here, but also the most important thing is this, the message, right? So even if you can't see it, I'm going to put the cards up one by one so you can see the cards, but it really is the message that comes through. Now, that was a mouthful. I have to take a deep breath. All right. Aquarius. Man. There's a lot happening for you this week, Aquarius. Even though it is a week, there was a lot of activity in the first beginning, the first two weeks of April, and even in March, there was a lot happening. Okay, especially with Mars going into your sign, uh, but then Mars went into Pisces last week. So that anyway, um, and then also at the end of the month, there is going to be a lot of activity. But for this week, it looks like you have gone. You've been working really hard on something. You've been working really hard on a new project at work, in your career, maybe at home, maybe with family, maybe with, uh, the, you know, the wands really is all about enterprise and career, but it is also like ideas and creativity. So maybe you've been working hard on a book. Aquarians are very creative, okay? Aquarians are artists. They're, they're very, you know, there's a lot of, like, you love acting, you love poetry, you love writing, you love the arts. And so uh, you could have been right, uh, working hard on a book making an album, doing something with social media, because of course it's rules, technology. Uh, listen, I want you to know that this came up in your past area. So all of that, everything that we're, if you feel like you're being completely burnt out and there's just way too much going on and you feel like you're giving up, this is literally the don't give up card. But the fact that it, that it landed in your past area means that all of that is done all of that you do not have to worry you're finally back into a really good group you're in a good place and we're really happy about that now okay i want to show you that you got the king of wands now we call him well i call him the steve jobs of the tarot deck okay he is the entrepreneur he is so admired so respected he's sitting on that throne because he earned it he did everything right okay he played by the books he used his smarts he used his charm he did everything right to be that king in this throne again this rules career this is the big entrepreneur card so you're in a place where you are on top of the world when it comes to work, when it comes to career, side projects, hustles, side hustles, uh, anything that has to do with like income, money flow, side, you know, there's, it's, it's there and it's very transformative energy. So this could be new to you. This could be something recent and it could be something that, 
uh, is happening as we speak where you feel like, oh my God, I've actually never been in a place like this career wise, right? So that's really insane and that's really good. One thing that I also want to show you, you did pull the 10 of cups. This is all about complete joy. This is all about happiness. This is all about family. Uh, this is really like the end. Remember, coming all the hardships and everything that you've endured and all the hard work and being burnt out is coming to an end, has come to an end. And now you're entering a place where all of that has come into, has come to an end. And it's all about complete joy. This is the only freaking rainbow in the, in the tarot deck, okay? And so here's the thing. Now, even though you did pull that card, and I don't want you to, like, freak out or anything, there is something that, um, something career-wise... Okay, so let, how do I even say this? Spend some time. You've been spending so much time working and so much time on your career. Spend a little bit more time with your loved ones. Go out, have fun, be social, meet your friends. Uh, I feel like for a lot of Aquarians, like you've been working like 10, 12, 40 hours a day, okay? This is a message saying that you should probably spend a little bit more time because that is some of the happiness you may be missing out on because you're so focused on your career. Obviously, don't get sidetracked, but just make some time for them, okay? Uh, because you want that total happiness, okay? Not just career, everything, all right? Now, another reason I say that is because you did get the Queen of Pentacles, and so it looks like you are so focused so what is the word when you're like you're like so zoned in uh you're in the zone uh in terms of making money okay money's on your mind uh the queen of pentacles is complete uh financial success like she is one rich rich girl <laughs> queen um so it's on your mind money is on your mind and you want to make a lot of it and you're in a place where you uh, are looking to have that sort of abundance um well it's very clear that you did have some thing to celebrate recently and that's still on your mind and deep down inside for some aquarians if you haven't gotten to that point yet it will come trust me this is a three of cups all right and so this is all about celebration, but it's also like um, sisterhood, brotherhood, friendship, getting with your friends. That's why I tell you, go out, see your friends now, okay? Please do. At least do one brunch. Promise me you'll do one brunch this week or a lunch or a virtual uh, drink with a friend. Just do something. At least send out a text to a friend and just say, hey, sorry, I've been so busy. Uh, let's hang out soon all right you don't want to be so disconnected and we we are looking for a complete joy in every aspect of our life this is so career centric okay now the other thing are you happy with that you got the full okay and so the full really is uh, one of my favorite cards and this came up in your future area. There's so much to talk about here, but I'm gonna keep it really short. The main takeaway is that you are about to enter um, a place where you're, you feel completely free, okay? That so you've worked so hard, you've, you're earning it. You're earning this spot. Now, the full is a zero, not even in the number to our deck. You know why? Zero means no thing. No thing means everything. This is infinite possibilities here. You are in a position where you're about to, you can take that leap of faith. You can take that leap of faith. You are being fully protected by the universe and the sun. One other thing I want to point out regarding the sun. The sun, other than the actual sun card, shows up very infrequently in the other cards. And bam, you have the full support from the sun. Now, the sun, what does it do? It gives birth. It brings life to things. It shines a light on you. You've caught the attention of the sun and you are about to take a leap of faith and you should take a leap of faith into your next phase. Whatever you do this week, there is going to be something that you're just like, F it, I'm gonna do it. And you should, you have full support. You have full support, infinite possibilities. 
I'm so happy for you, Aquarius. This is a really good reading. Okay, so now we're going to go to your snack. If you like this reading, it would be great if you can like and subscribe. It would really help me out um, with the YouTube algorithm, and I'm still new to this, so I would greatly and sincerely appreciate it. Aquarius, I'm not going to lie. Like, well... You got the Nine of Cups. So, it's so funny because the messages that I'm getting, I'm getting two messages and say, this is gonna rate, this is gonna resonate for some Aquarians uh, in relationships or looking for relationships. It is going to happen, okay? This is the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups, he really does represent, like, if you think about fairy tales, uh, like the knight in shining armor, that's him. He's loving, he's caring, he thinks about you. He is so romantic. This is very romantic energy, okay? And so this is two things. One, Aquarians, if you're looking for a relationship, do that this week, okay? You could meet the one. Remember, I did say, focus, take a break from your career man. All right. Take a break from your career and start uh, seeing your friends again. And maybe you'll have brunch with them and then you'll meet the love of your life. Secondly, it just means someone could be coming in soon for you. For those here for career. Okay. Oh, and this also means just uh, with Ukrainians that are in relationships, you could be taking it to the next level this week. All right. This is also a big sign. I just got um, a message that some Aquarians might be moving in with some with their partners this week. So look out for that. Now, uh, if you're here for a career, um, Knight of Cups is, uh, this really is just tell you to like really embrace that your creativity and really use it to your advantage. Like what I love about the Knight of Cups is that you can see the wings of imagination on his helmet and his feet. And so this is really strong creative energy there. And I really love that. It really is sort of like, um, it is probably one of the most complex cards because knights are really fiery and cups are water, all right? But look at him. Slow and steady and doing it right. He's got it down. Chariot. I love this. You know why? You know that burden and burnout you've been going through or you went through in the past? Completely overcoming it, okay? Now, this just means that the chariot, well, first of all, big cancer energy here, but what I love about the chariot, it's two things. One, it's taking charge, overcoming obstacles, moving forward, okay? Let's point out two things. One, you can see he's not even holding on to the reins. He's standing up. He's not sitting down, meaning he's really fucking ready to go. Secondly, in his hand is the magician's baton, not even the reins. So that is him manif moving toward what he wants to manifest for you. It's obviously a lot of career energy here. In terms of relationships, Aquarians, if you are here for relationships, remember you did get the full infinite possibilities. Take advantage of that this week. You could meet the one, all right? Let's not screw around. This is the week, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. It was so stupid. Anyway, <laughs> um, I love this for you, okay? So you pulled the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is, uh, this is pretty much what you're going for here. And I love it. You're going for complete, complete, full happiness. You can see the dude here chilling. It is amazing, huge, humongous castle. He's got abundance all of, all around him. He probably has an American Express Platinum card. He is with his family. He is done with his legacy. He's, he's, he, this is all about legacy, right? And the happiness to get there. So remember, you are in a really good place and you really are focusing a lot in career and career is what brings money, right? And But there's all those other attributes I want you to think about too. You know, just remember your friends, remember your family, remember, you know, making time for them and for relationships. But also this is just major abundance that you're looking for in your life. And the last thing, the Knight of Swords, Aquarius. Oh. Is that... You got two nights. Yeah. Okay. That's very fiery energy. So what this means is that in the final outcome, 
because you're going to move a little fast. You're going to move a little fast. There's going to be a lot going on in your mind. Uh, night, really fiery. Swords, really airy. And this is very mental uh, activity here. So it could mean that like things are going to happen in a way where your mind goes a million miles a minute. There's going to... There's, the energy that I feel is so chaotic, but in a good way. Like, just know that there's a lot to look forward to, okay? Some of you might travel, actually. Some some Aquarians might be traveling soon. Um, but, listen, this really is just go, go, go. You can see this is very, very active fiery card, okay? And so, the Knight of Swords really is ready to go, ready to get, get move forward. Uh, mostly intellectually, most, excuse me. Mentally, uh, this is you like overcoming every obstacle you can imagine, all that hard work and burnout that you've gone through. You've taken that moment to just sit in your throne and chill a bit, re examine things, reunite with friends, have some moments with them because you know that you have a great future ahead of you and you're so excited to get started and get forward. But this is really just like one thing is that things will start picking up for you really fast, Aquarius. But if I can give you any advice, the Knight of Swords is the most impulsive card in the deck. He is the most impulsive person. And we know Aquarians are impulsive. So if there is one thing that I should tell you is make sure that you're not more impulsive than you typically are because you're in such a good place. If there are uh, moments that come to you where you're like, have to make instant decisions or whatever, don't be impulsive and like, okay? Because things are gonna happen fast for you. I'm, I'm very excited for you. Gosh, I like, I literally like, I can't even, you're moving forward. This is great. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the week reading. You're going to have a great week. Please, uh, like, and subscribe if you can. It really helps me out and leave comments. I, you know, if anything like really resonates and you know, I would love to hear it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, claim it. I'm here for you. All right. See you next week. And have a great week. Thanks, Aquarius.